Now that the wave is official, now that the wave is official, now that you guys have subscribed to the channel, hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Now that you've joined the Patreon, link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat, aka the bag chasers. Uh, now that you have your teach handy 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Uh, now that we have everything official and the wave is official, right? Shout out to my dog, Max B. I've noticed some things. I've noticed some things, all right? And as I see people in the chat, there's some people that I want to, somebody said, wow, never seen so many mods on the show. It's because my people mess with me. My people really, really mess with me. So over the next month or so, I'll be adding and subtracting. Let me say that again. I'll be adding and subtracting uh, moderator badges and with good reason. But let me, let me get to that in a minute. Somebody sent me a screenshot yesterday. Somebody sent me a screenshot yesterday. And I thought that it was the most entertaining screenshot that I've seen in a long time. Now, I won't share that screenshot with you because you're going to have to pay for, you're going to have to pay for, for the visibility that I give people on my platform because I'm the wave, right? A lot of people predicted Anton's downfall. They said that we didn't rock with you because you're not blackity black. We don't like the fact that uh, you hold people accountable, that you're an equal accountability partner, or I don't like you on this, or I disagree with you on that, so on and so forth. You know what the wave is, right? But they can't divest themselves from me because the people that hate me and the people that love me, which I think that the people that hate me actually love me and they are my biggest fans, they really can't divest themselves from me, right? And so this is what I've noticed. This is what I've noticed. When they sent me that screenshot yesterday, it was so hilarious. And it was something that was so small, but I found it to be so funny because I have a really, really, really phenomenal memory. Do y'all know that I remember the first person that ever jumped up as a moderator on my channel? I remember it like it was yesterday. They said, Anton, let me get a mod badge so I can clean up what's going on in the chat because you got some haters in here, right? That's what they said, literally, word for word. I remember it like it was yesterday. I said, okay, cool. Same moderator was rocking with me for a long time, right? Rolling with me, all of this type of stuff. Anton, I'm in your city. Can I please meet you and all of that? Y'all know me. Anybody that's ever met me in person know that I am the coolest. I will give you the shirt off my back. Nobody can ever say that they met me in person and that they didn't absolutely love me. Shout out to all of the people that I met at the gym yesterday that was, you know, they said that they rock with me, they're the new subscribers. But this is, this is bigger than that. I'm using this as an example in order to illustrate some things to you guys, right? And it's not about the mods, it's not about the chat, it's not about the badges, it's not about none of that stuff, right? It's about how it is that you need to expand and contract according to where you are in life. And we're not going to mention no names because that's not important. That don't mean anything, right? But they used to really like, Anton, I'm in your city. Oh, my, my God, Anton, I can't wait to meet with you. Oh, my God, you've been the biggest inspiration ever. And anybody that know me know I've been the exact same way since the beginning of time. I never switched up. I never modified it based off of where it is that I am and what I'm going to do and all of that stuff. I'm the same. I'm the same today as I was a year ago. My stance is the same, so on and so forth, right? But, I, but somebody sent me the screenshot, and I seen them on a stream from somebody that hates me super chatting somebody saying that, talking negative shit about me. I'm not going to say what they said because it's not necessary. And they was talking negative shit about me. I said, not them. Not them. No, not my biggest fan. Not the person that was sending me some of the craziest messages about how they love me and they in my city. They can't wait to meet me. And uh, I've been holding them down and I give them the inspiration. Not you. Not you that. Not you switching up. Even to the point to where the person that corrected them was like, oh, no, listen, fam, I know you hating right now. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. 
And and throughout the years, and I don't really address this because I understand that people come and go. People are fair weather. That's why I try to have my, my growth to be organic. I have my growth to be organic because I understand that there's some people that fuck with you today that they not going to fuck with you tomorrow. Yo, let me tell you what the internet does. is It's so real. A lot of people say, oh, it's just the internet. No, it's so real. Because the internet actually shows you who you really are over a period of time. Shout out to Sherelle. Been rocking with me, holding me down since the beginning of time, right? It's a lot of y'all in here that's been holding me down. But it's a lot of people that switched up on me, right? When I took my stance and I said, no, nah, listen, I don't switch up on people just because they white or I don't agree with what it is that you say. A lot of y'all disagreed with me when it came to. But listen, me and Q fundamentally disagreed, for example, on the whole Alabama brawl. Q will tell you, I sent her a message on Monday night after we got off that show. I said, don't you ever say X, Y, and Z to me again because you ain't never going nowhere and I will kick your black ass flat out. I told Q, you are mine and it is nothing that you can do about it. I am loyal and I have the most loyalty ever. We fundamentally disagree with some things, but I tell you what, I say, listen, don't ever even think about the possibility of anybody ever. I'm not playing that shit. I don't play that shit. It's forever. I am a for life forever type of person, right? And so, and she will tell you, this is real life. And the thing about it is this, I've seen some people come and go. And some of you that have been with me for an extended period of time, you have seen them too. And, and the, the, the part that makes me laugh the most, because I am so blessed, I have so much, God has looked out for me in so many different ways, that when I give, I give from my heart. And I don't make any bones about it, and I know that it's going to be some people that you give to that wind up snaking you and then wanting to shoot you behind the back, and they can't wait to say some crazy shit about you in the, on the back end, right? And it's funny because I've seen, and I'm using this as an example to illustrate a point. I've seen people that I've paid for their fucking rent when they were about to get kicked out of their house. And I've never seen them in their life. They hit me up. They, they sent me a message on Patreon. I gave them my, my personal phone number. I wind up sending them some money. They sent me the receipt to show that they caught up on their rent. And then... Three months later, when it was convenient, when they disagreed about something that I fundamentally said about a general issue, they was on the op side and they was super chatting or they was typing hard in the chat talking about how they don't fuck with me. And yeah, girl, go get him. I swear to God, I, I put I put it on everything. People who I've paid rent reached out to me and I have sent them money to pay their rent to get caught up three months behind about to get evicted and I have paid their rent and they have turned around and stabbed me in the back listen listen don't forget who had your back because these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you don't forget who had your back don't forget who gave you seed money to start your business and never asked for anything as a result of it don't forget the person that sent you money to pay for your funerals for your people funeral when you when your own fucking family and Rita will tell you Rita hate the fact that I allocate a specific amount of money every single month and I give it to the people you know how y'all tithe over to the church I tithe and I give at, I give back to the people when y'all tithe over to the church I tithe and I give it to the people I tithe and I give it to the people reading that super chat shortly don't forget the person that paid your rent and caught you up and made sure that you didn't get evicted. Don't forget the person that made sure that you had money in your pocket when you said that you wanted to kill yourself. Don't forget the person that paid for your, your, funer your people funeral when your own family abandoned you. I was there. Don't forget the person that flew out to your city. These are things that I really did. Don't forget the person that flew out to your city. And held you down when you said that you had something going on in your life. And I left my meetup early, several hours early, in order to align with you. Don't forget the person that funded your business. When nobody else believed in you, I gave you your seed money. Thousands of dollars. Wired it over to you. 
No, no kind of thing that, that I needed back. Didn't want no equity in your company. Didn't want anything from you. I just gave you the money. Don't forget the person that held you down. Don't forget the person that on the live stream prayed in front of people. I'll be up all fucking night. Y'all be calling me at two, three o'clock in the morning. Y'all be having my real phone number and y'all be saying, Anton, I'm going through this shit. Pray for me. And then we jump on and we pray together. I might get up, wipe the sleep out of my eyes, jump on a Zoom call with you, pray with you so you can see and feel the energy from me. We pray. You say, oh my God, everything worked out. And then two months later, you over there riding with the ops talking about, I don't fuck with that nigga because he said X, Y, and Z. It happens more than just online. It happens in real life. It happens in your family. The very same people, your friends that you think is holding you down is going to be the people that then is your worst enemy and they're going to stab you in your back. It happened to Jesus. It, ha it happens in general. It happens in life. So all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, you have to make sure that you're continuing to cull and chop off the people that's just riding the wave, the fair weather fans. And if you're a fair weather, if you just find this entertaining, I'm cool with that. But just don't come in talking about, oh my God, I fucking rock with you. Stop sending me emails talking about, oh Jesus, you saved my life. Don't send me shit. Just be fair weather. Just be a person that says, oh, I like what it is that he's doing today. I'm not really feeling what it is that he's doing tomorrow. And then move on. But you don't have to sit over here and act like we all cool just for you to embarrass yourself later because I have the memory of an elephant. I have a long memory. I have a list of people that done me wrong and I'm trying to ask God to let me burn it up, but he ain't through with me yet. So you got to continue to do that audit. You got to continue to call. We adding some people. We removing some people. Some people get you know what I'm saying? They get a little bit of money. They 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 get their wave and then they go off on their own and then they be like, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. We with it. Understand that your circle is going to expand and contract. Don't take it personal. That's just what human nature is. People going to ride with you. People going to divest themselves from you. I just don't want you to take it personal when I call you out or I decide that I don't fuck with you. When you come back into the into the fold and say, oh, my God, I want to be a bag chaser again. My life is in shambles. I don't I don't have nothing for you. I don't have anything for you. All right. God bless. I forgive you, but I just don't want you around me because you're a snake. 